In this video, we will learn how to attach files to your existing Salesforce record using the Pulsar app. There are multiple ways to do that. So let's start within the application. As you can see, these are my Salesforce records. I'm going to choose to attach a file to an account record. I'm going to click on the accounts icon. Choose Azul Systems. That was one of the recent records that I looked at. And in order to attach a file, click on the plus icon you see on the bottom toolbar. I'm going to choose Attachment here. This will let me attach any pictures from my iPad camera roll. When the first application was first installed, I chose to give it permission to access my camera roll. And from then on, I can access this from within the app and choose to upload any images that, um, that belong to this record. For example, I'm going to call this uh, attachment number three. And you can give it any file name you would like, by the way. So as you can see, right now the application is uploading that as an attachment to this record. This feature comes in handy if you're out in the field and you needed to take a picture of the work site or you are talking to a customer who drew a diagram on the whiteboard and you needed to quickly capture it. So that picture can now uh, be attached into Salesforce using Pulsar. From then on, once the attachment is part of the record, you can click on the eye icon and see there are three attachments to this record. So I can click on it and it gives me the file names. And for example, I can look at the attachment that I just uploaded. See the error message, the database message that I wanted to capture. So there you go. That's one way of attaching files via Pulsar. Let's take a look at another method. Let's say somebody sent me a file in, uh, in an email and I really needed that file to be attached to Salesforce. So in this case, it's a software contract agreement and it's a PDF file. So when I'm in my iPad email and I click and hold that attachment, in the mail application gives me a choice to open this file in Pulsar. So as you can see, now the application loads up you can actually uh, modify the name if you choose to, but I'm going to leave the file name as it is and choose attach to and choose a particular um, table that you want to attach it to and choose the person that you want to attach it to. Uh, so in this case, I'm attaching the file to a con uh, contact, but you can choose any other table that lets you attach files. And I'm clicking on the button upload and currently the application is attaching the particular PDF file to that um, contact. So let's go take a look at it. I attached it to Avi Green record. As you can see, there's one attachment. Look at that. That's the file we just attached. So it's as simple as that. So now let's say you have an application that lets you store files. Um, for example, in this case, I'm using Dropbox. And so I saved a file from my computer from home uh, or from my phone into Dropbox and I would like to attach that file to Pulsar. Click on that little icon on the top right and just like the mail application, Dropbox also lets you open this file in an application. So there you go. I can choose to open the file in Pulsar and walk you through the same procedure just we, uh, as we did with the email attachment. So, as you can see, attaching files using Pulsar is super easy. Thank you for using Pulsar for Salesforce. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions and we are happy to help you out.